praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come on, let us thank him. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Shall we just take our seats for a moment? Thank you. And yeah, God bless you. And then our first um, morning glory Sunday starts today. And um, it's going to be this month, then we skip a month, then the second month. April, June, August, October, December, every February next year, every March. So every second month, the last Sunday would be Morning Glory Sunday. So I'd like us just to stand and welcome and encourage Major as she comes up front.
Spirit of God for your presence. We thank you, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I yield myself, Lord, under your power of the Holy Spirit. Speak through me, O God. Anoint each and every heart that is here, every mind with your spirit, O God. Thank you, Father, for the mighty, mighty, mighty power of God. Mighty power of God. That is in this place. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you very much. Let's read the word of God. Mm. Open the Bible. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Oh, 
greet you and Psalms chapter 8 verse 3 mm. Mm. He is here We are ready When Back of your fingers The moon and the stars Which you have set in place What is man that you are mindful of? The son of man that you care for him. You made him a little lower than the heavens being and crowned him with glory and honor. And crown him with glory and honor. With glory and honor, and crown him with glory and honor. Can I get a witness in the house? And he crowned him with the glory and honor. He crowned him. What is man that you are mindful of? That you crown man with your glory and your honor. Your majesty. What is man? That we are mindful of. That God. God of heaven. God of. We have created everything. But man. We have crowned him. Don't know whether you get what I'm saying. He created everything with his fingers. But man. But man, he didn't crown anything, but man, he didn't crown the trees, but man, he didn't crown the scars, but man, he didn't crown the angels. This is a morning glory. We are going to receive the glory. Hallelujah. We are going to receive the glory of God that will take us through to our destination. Hallelujah. He is crowned. We are talking about the crown of glory. On. Maybe you don't understand it, but I want you today to know that God didn't crown anything. But he crowned me and you with what? With what? I can't hear you. Let the demons hear you. Let the enemy hear you. Let the witches hear you. Let the, the haters hear you. Let everybody hear you. That uh, today is the day that my God I need the crown of glory to come out of this situation. I need the glory. I'm not leaving this place without getting the glory. I'm not leaving this house today. I know my healing is here. I know my deliverance is today. I know my breakthrough is today. So I'm not leaving here. I want God to crown me with this glory. You may be seated in the presence of God. I'm sorry. You know if you want something, you become restless. Let me first greet my dad. Hi, daddy. It's not easy to minister in your presence. But by the grace of God, sister. Okay. Pastor Chabul and, wife and, and a beautiful wife and your little one. 
God bless you. The pastors of TFT. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Every pastor that is in this place. Greeting in the name of Jesus. Can you clap our hands for them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a glorious day. Okay. You have heard me. This is a glorious day. Not that every Sunday is not a glorious day, but today we label it because we believe that something is going to happen in this place. Hallelujah! That my life is changing in this place. So this is my glory. I'm taking my glory today. Take your glory today. Hallelujah! Are you ready to receive from the Lord today? Are you ready to say, God, speak to me, touch me. God, change me. God, change my situation. Are you here to say, God, I can't wait. On your marks. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for your miracle? You better be ready because somebody is grabbing it. Are you ready? Is everybody ready here? Are you ready for your miracle? Oh God, it's a day of the miracle. Mm, I can't wait. I can't wait for tomorrow because I'm coming with glory. I can't wait for that boss who doesn't like me because I'm coming with glory. I can't wait for that people who hate me because I'm coming with the glory. I can't wait for that sickness and disease that is in my body because I'm coming with glory. Something must just fall. Something must just fall. Something must just fall. Something must just fall. Something must just fall in this church. Something. The devil is a liar. He's right on the feet. The devil is a liar. We are going with the glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ali Sago Mimanta. Ali Sago Mimanta. Ali Sago Mimanta. You know why? Because today you are going back home with your crown. <laughs> today you are going back home with your crown. Maybe you have lost your crown, but praise God today, we are taking back your crown to your head and you are going to face this situation. When I go back home today, I'm coming with the glory. I'm not going alone today. Hallelujah. Shut up. The devil is not smart enough. He doesn't have the crown. The demons, they don't have the crown. The witches, they don't have the crown. We are having the glory. I want to remind you today, this morning, that you are very special in the house of God. He created everything with his fingers. He created the heavens, the stars, the moon, and the angels. But when it comes to man, he created man and put something on top. You will never fail. Maybe sometimes, you know when, how can I move into it? 
you lost your crown. When you are sick enough, the devil thinks that you have lost your crown. Maybe, oh yes, you have lost it. But today, oh, Alam Kutwakam. Maybe I have lost it. But today, I'm taking back what belongs to me. I'm taking the crown. I'm putting the crown. And I know that my life is changing today. That's why the topic of my sermon, the glory of God can change anything. I don't know why. The glory of God can change everything. Have you heard me? I, I didn't say some of the things. I said, yeah, if it's a thing, everything. Tell your neighbor everything. The glory is here today to change everything about my life, about my family, about my children, about my life, my body, my whole. The glory is here. The glory is here. The glory is here. Shikaba, we are tired. The devil thinks that you are stupid. The devil thinks that he has got you. No. It's never too late with God. I'm telling you today. If you believe me today. I believe God today. That God will never just say glory. There's something about it. God wants to change my life. God wants to change my everything. Because it's only the glory. It's only the glory. You have said in the name of Jesus, but that situation is still there. You have said in the Holy Spirit fire. We have called all the angels. We have called all the fire, but the situation is still there. But I'm telling you, when the glory falls, when the glory falls, You don't call anything. You just do like Moses did. You just go up the mountain. Up the mountain. You just go up the mountain and kneel down. And the mountain is like this. When you are kneeling like this, you don't have to ask for the glory. Automatically, the glory falls. We don't call that glory. The glory just falls on us. That is why today we declare that this place, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory and the worship. So the glory and the worship is here. So I'm not leaving this place. Seek. Oh, okay. I'm good our high blood. I'm strong our high blood. I'm not going to leave this place sick. I'm not going to leave this place be bound. I don't know about you. I'll be a new person. With some. Says here, what is the glory? In Hebrew, is kabod. That's the glory. In Hebrew, it's deep in Hebrew. But when you say glory, it's light. But you say kabod, you see the, the Hebrew notes. 
even the demons knows, even the angels knows that you are talking about something. You know, every time we speak, we say, the glory of God is here. The glory of God is here. It, it has lost power. But the cup, with the hidden, the cup beat of God. That's the glory of God. The meaning of it, it means in Hebrew, abundance. Ah, somebody on Google. It means abundance, shikaba. When you have the glory, you have abundance. Do you get me? Why you don't have the abundance? Maybe because you have lost your glory. But don't take heart. Just take heart. Because today you are going to regain the glory of your crown. You are going to claim that. Oh my God. The cup is abundance. When God is saying glory, God says, I can't hear you. When God says glory, and you say, when the devil comes and God say, Lori, you say, when the devil say you are poor, you say, when the devil say you are sick, you say, not only that, another meaning for it in Hebrew is honor. People must honor you. People must honor you. You are the child of God and say that glory means you are honored. When you are honored in heaven, you must be honored on earth. I don't know whether you hear me. If I'm honored in heaven, then it means I'm honored on earth. So everybody must own. Everybody must honor me. Everybody must bow to my God. When they bow to the crown, I... You know me. It says it's, a, it's an honor. Number three, is a dignity. I go with the dignity. I go with boldness. Because if you know your story, if you know that what you have, you are not afraid. Don't be afraid because you have something powerful. Say there is a dignity. But do they go to Enadali for dignity? By your land is tunzi. But God is saying, you have it. When you receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, then the crown of glory rests upon your head. Mm. When the glory, that's why about Bonabo Film Sebet, when the glory. Everything that belongs to you must have a signature. Your signature must have a crown. When they reach those people, those people mustn't see your name. They must see something behind the, the name. We are glorious. We have the honor. We have the dignity. So you don't have to wear smart to have the dignity. Even if you can say overall, when people look at you with their stiletto, they will see something behind what you are wearing. They will see, they mustn't see you. They must see what you have. preaching to the, to the dead church, the church that doesn't believe in God's power. I'm preaching to the church 
that said, God is going to do it. It is possible that God is going to make it for me. I'm not scared. I don't know what the people are thinking. But all I know, God will do it for me. It is a splendor. Not only splendor and the reputation. If people they insult you, you lose the reputation. Today you are going to take it. But you are nothing. Nothing will happen in your life. Nobody will be delivered in this family. They have said curses words in your life. But today I'm telling you, I'm taking the crown that is lost. I'm taking the crown of glory. And I'm saying, Lord, nobody will ever insult me. When they want to insult me, their tongue will stick on top of their mouth. Mm, no insult. No insult. No insult. I say no insult. I say no curses. Whoever that is cursing you will be cursing themselves because God today is saying no one will insult you because of your reputation. We are tired of people that are saying but you are a Christian for so long. But nothing is happening. But let me tell you. Maybe we have lost our crowns. Maybe there's somewhere, somewhere. Or maybe the devil has robbed you. You know the crown is expensive. The crown is very expensive. So when somebody sees your crown, somebody who wants to take it will leave your stiletto. They'll leave your handbag. They'll leave your phone. But because the crown is expensive, what you have is very expensive. So anybody will want it. In the book of Exodus, even if you don't open it, Exodus 33 verse 30. Exodus state, Babila Bandra. Exodus 33, verse 30. Oh God. This is the story of Moses. These people, I, I don't care whether you open it or not. I don't care, but I'm carrying on anyway. If you are pleased with me, that's Moses. God, today I'm saying, if you are pleased with me, Teach me your way so I may know you and continue to find favor with you. Remember that this nation is your people. The Lord replies. What did the, what did the Lord say? Okay, you are not convincing. Just again, my breath. Do you believe that? My presence will go today with you and I'll do what? Do you want rest? Is anybody here needs rest? Is anybody that is tired? Are you tired in your situation? You need the rest of God. I don't hear the voice of the saint. Are you tired? Are you tired? And my presence, your presence of God, Let's go back to my presence. My presence. This is a promise. Hurry, if my presence will go, maybe will go with you. Hurry, if or maybe my presence will go with you. Adam, God is saying, my presence. Today, my presence. Oh, our wood long. Today, Adam, my presence. Will do what? Will go. If I have the presence that I go with it today, wherever I go, wherever there will be a presence, 
wherever I go, even if people they want to do something against me, but they will never do anything because I'm under the presence. Hallelujah. When you are under the presence of God, or you are under the cloud of God, when something bad wants to come against you, when the demons and the devil wants to attack you, they must start first with the presence. I'm tired of fasting and interceding. I just want to appear. I just want to appear. I just want to story to surround me so that when people look at me, they must see the creator of their life. When the demons see me, they must see the creator, not me. They must see the presence. Say the presence. You said, if your presence doesn't go with me, I'm not going. God and my presence will go with you. This is a covenant that I'm making with God today. That, oh God, all I need now, I've tried everything. I've tried oils. I've tried water. I've tried the strongest prophet on the planet. I go to the powerful meetings, but nothing happened. But God, I believe today in this simple meeting that your glory is here and you're going to show up. And God, you're going to heal me. And God, you're going to heal my situation. The presence, what is more, is not the title. What is you know, more powerful is the glory of God in a person. Not the titles. You can have all the titles, the daughters, and whatever you do. And, but let me tell you, if you, that doesn't, does, doesn't have the presence. You can wear your expensive perfume. perfume. You can wear your beautiful dress. You can wear your stiletto. But if the glory and the presence of God is not around you, you are naked. Because the demons can spot you. The enemy can point at you. The gun of the enemy can destroy you. The presence of God is our shield. The presence of God is our covering. I've heard people say, I want the covering of the church. I want the covering of the presence. The covering of the church, you may lose it. But the covering of God will be always with you in your life. Mm, can I get a witness in the house? The Bible says Moses for 40 days and 40 nights. Guruji Mahatma was sitting with God. 40 days, Baba. 40 nights. Covering, be covered. 40 days and 40 nights. The, name, the man was covered. We want to be covered by things. People, they want the covering because they are naked. So Moses went up and leave the Israelites down there and go up the mountain. And when you are alone, these things need you alone. The presence doesn't need the intercessors. The presence doesn't need anybody next to you. The presence of God needs only you because God has a plan with your life. Sometimes people will never be there. They will never support you. The people you think they will support you, the people you think they'll go with you, the people you think they love you, for the very first time, they withdraw. Because the Lord wants to do something in your life. The Lord wants to speak to you. The Lord wants to cover you with his glory. But the glory is expensive. Because the glory will make you lose friends. I can't hear you. The glory will make you lose friends. The glory will make you lose things that the Lord doesn't want in your life.
He was there for 40 days. 49. Heart. Out of the presence. Going to face the Israelites. And the Bible says the glory was still in him. He left the presence, but the glory walked with him to the people who discouraged him. To the people who said, where is this God? To the people who are saying, we don't believe you anymore. To the people who said, take us back to Egypt. To the people who said, we don't love you anymore. That's why you went up there. God went up there to clothe them. So that they don't see him. This time, they didn't see Moses. Joyce. When the glory has told them, when the glory has covered you, people they are no longer interested. When they look at you, when they look at you for the very first time. They saw Moses changed. That is why this story of today is going to change your life. And the people, when they look at you, they'll see the glory of God. They'll see the change. Is somebody going to change today? There's a change to somebody's situation today. I don't hear you. I don't hear you. I don't. You need to be excited. You need to be excited. You need to. Are you going to receive this? Are you going to receive this glory? Are you going to yeah, 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 yeah. Are you going to receive this light? Are you going to receive it? Brother, that glory will touch your life. I don't know you. We are so thirsty and so hungry for God to move in your life. I'm telling you now, that glory that I'm speaking about today, is touching your life right now. The life of God, people who are saying things about your life, people who are saying things about your life, they will really have said things, things are not coming together. But let me tell you, after we are from the mountain of God, after we are, yeah, 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 yeah. after we are from the church, after we are from the mountain of God, things will turn around. I'm not saying the name of Jesus is light. But even Jesus trusted his father. But I'm saying that if you say the name of Jesus, you say the fire of the Holy Spirit and nothing is happening. You keep quiet and go to the glory. Go to the presence. This is the day that the Lord has made that you must receive his presence today. That nobody can heal you. Nobody can heal a situation. Nobody can change your life. It's only God. And I don't need anything. Moses said, I don't need anything. I just want to see enough of you. When now I don't want anything. When now Shibliliniano. Oh, I don't want anything. When no shebile, this boyfriend will bless you. I don't want anything. When no shebile, this thing, I don't want anything. I just want to see your glory. What do you want to see? Is the car, the house, children? If you have the glory, you have everything. Have everything you need. Church, let's go back to the roots. The simple gospel 
Yeah, but the simple gospel that says Jesus can do it. The simple gospel, mama. And if you have faith in God, God can do it now. Where is that faith in the church? That God, you are healing me right now. You are delivering night. I'm not living here, Lord. Right now, I've been healed. Right now, I receive your deliverance. Right now, I receive my breakthrough. Right now, that those doors will open. Right now, my business will flourish. You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. I'm not entertaining. I'm telling you, something is falling right now. Somebody will miss this. Somebody will miss this. Somebody and you are here and you are going to miss it. Because I don't know what's your problem. You are saying, oh, this woman is loud. Mm. When the spirit of the Lord is in me, I can't contain myself. When I believe in this God, that God can do it today. I don't want God to do it for your sake. I want God to do it for his sake and my sake. Because I'm preaching his word. And his word is power. Say power. You are from the mountain of God. You are from the presence of God. You are different. Check out Moses. When Moses out from the cloud of God and the people they couldn't even look at him and say please they cannot look at you. They don't know what happened to him. But something happened. They will never know what is happening to him. But you are, something is going to happen. Because when people, they look at you, they start with your face. Before they go down to your shoes. But now they have to look at Moses. And think. When they look at Moses. They didn't see Moses anymore. They saw God of Moses. In Moses. Hallelujah. God of Moses. In the I said, no, no, Moses. We cannot, we cannot face you. Mm. Please, move on something to cover the face. Speak, Moses. We can hear you. But there is something about your face. We can't look at you. Because your face is not the usual face that we know. Your face, yes, you are wearing a makeup. But this time is no, more than a makeup. But this time we see something we have never seen before. People must see something that they have never seen before. Because you are from the presence of God. Moses has experiences with God. Moses has seen God, a, a burning bush. Moses has spoke, has spoken to God face to face. He spoke to God. He saw it. What do you want, Moses? Because you have seen the burning bush. But the bush was still remaining. The bush was not burning. Moses, what do you want to see? Moses said, yes, God, I've seen the bush. But give me a chance to see your glory. I 
have seen the burning bush. I have seen the fire of the Holy Spirit. But allow me today to see your glory. Allow me. I've seen the burning bush. I've seen the Red Sea split into two. I've seen the plague in Israel. I see the frog. I saw the frogs. I saw everything. Oh God. But this time, I don't want to see them. I've seen the natural. Now it's tapping. I want somebody to tap today. Come out of the natural. Come out of the natural. Come out of the natural. Go up to the hill. Go to the mountain of God. The presence is not in the natural. The presence is in the hill. In the mountain of God or in the house of God. You've been crying, oh God. God said, tap in. Moses, and I've seen the natural. I've seen the demons tremble. I see Pharaoh, the, you know, the, my stick, my anointing. I've seen the gift that you have given me, swallowing every gift. I have seen so many things, oh God, but that is not enough. There's something that I can have. And if I get that thing, my life will never be the same. Moses said, Give me a tree. Give a tuba. I'm talking to somebody. Near twelve a long day. Give me a tree. Give a tat. Give a pillow. I've prayed. I've done everything. I want to, when you leave this place, you leave this place with the, with the glory. That is shining on your face. I don't know whether your glory, you believe it or not. But I'm trusting God whether you believe it or not. It's going to happen and it's going to embarrass you. I want God to embarrass those who don't believe. I just, I'm trusting God to do it. Especially for those who said, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the glory. I'm talking about the presence. I'm talking about God. I'm talking about dignity. I'm talking about honor. I'm talking about... Agut. That's abundance. That's abundance. You know I'm a commander when I'm here. And if you don't listen to the command, you're going to miss your miracle. Because I'm speaking under the influence of God. When I say, the commander say to this, get what? The Lord is passing you by. Take the instruction from the commander. I say abundance. Why are you not excited? Why are you not excited? Why are you not excited? What do you want? 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 What do you have? What do you have? What do you have? What your family has? What your children has? A bodies! Yes, Lord. Yeah, 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 yeah. People, you'll have abundance, but that will be some abundance. But what is your name? Choice abundance. Choice abundance. The abundant one. The one who has power and authority and honor and dignity. Yeah. Yeah. Asking people to help you, begging people to see you, 
They mustn't see you. They must, must connect. If, oh, oh, I'm, I'm going to talk about something. There's a connection that connects you to the system of the world. Because we have the system of glory. So the system of glory will come to you. When the, it comes to you, it will connect you to the system of the world. When you are connected to the system of the world, oh my God, when you are connected with the glory of God to the system of the world, when God connects you, you don't have to knock doors. Ah, there's no door that you can knock more you now with the glory. The glory will go and knock the door. When the glory knocks the door, you just could be called on the telephone. Are you so and so? Yes, I am. Just go to abundance. Oh, abundance. Dignity. Honor. And glory. Yes, I am. Because somebody must call you. Somebody this week, this very week, this very week, this very week, this very week, somebody must call you. The glory must lock all the doors that are closed on your behalf. They must open for the glory of God will open the doors that no man will close. Yes! Those doors must open. We have the key that you are taking today. The T key, which is the glory. Nothing else. The glory. Which, in other words, God is stepping in. Because now, they don't hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. They don't hear the name of Jesus. When they, 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 they think they are dumb, then God said, I'm coming down. Yes, I was solo. Yes, I am one. Yes, I am God. Yes, I am Paco. Yes, I am Pega. Yes, I am Damini. Yes, I am Tanji. I'm going to break the doors. I'm going to break the doors of walls. Yes, Lord. Break them, Lord. Break. 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 With your glory. With God's will, break them. When the glory comes in, as Peter, when the glory comes in in the cell, In your situation, when the glory comes in and the door is locked and you are locked behind and the glory is coming to fetch you and the glory is coming to release you. When the glory comes in, the glory doesn't have a key. Even the wood know the glory because they were created by God. When the God of wood, which is the door, sees the glory, the wood give way. They locked wood. They locked butter. They locked iron seal. When you see the glory. It just opens up. Because somebody today must be free. When the glory comes, it's taking you out. And say, I'm taking you out. And you are shaking. What is happening? The glory is here. And the angels are all around the jail. The angels are around the situation. The angels are all around. And then when you come, the angels are all around. The angels are all around. When the angels, when the angels, 
They saw the angels, but they didn't see the glory. Because you cannot see the glory and live. The only thing that you'll see is the angels. But the glory, you cannot see. The angels, the angel was accompanying the presence. Because the presence of God cannot go naked. The presence of God is surrounded by angels. That's why but the angel of the Lord saw that the, the angel of the Lord goes. But now, when the glory, I get him rooted in some of the angels. Now I'm saying, there are angels and the glory is coming to your bondage. singing. The angels are worshiping. The seraphims and the cherubims are worshiping. Because now, this pungent needs when wherever God is, wherever the glory is, they are the angels of worship. So, the, 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 that was not only the angels, angel, but now there was the angels of God. The worshipers. The Lord Jesus. They were all going there. That is why you know other people you cannot be with them. Be with them. You know why? Because they, they are walking with blue lights. I don't know. I don't know. There are people who are so who are so protected that there are blue lights all around. The angels are driving all around. When you want to turn right, they say turn left. When you want to go straight, they say right. Because you are not controlling your life. When I go to release him, to release Paul, Silas, Peter. When they go, heaven come down today for me and you. Just to release us from all their bondage. And they came down. And when they came down, God looked at it. was surrounded. Everybody asleep. Everybody was sleeping. But now God was at work in this life. During the night. Say during the night. During the night. During the tough times. God is there. And he said, the chains are broken before because God is breaking in every chain right now God is breaking every chain right now you are not going home with those chains we are not going home with the bound you will never be bound again you are never be bound again you are not going to be bound again immediately when the glory sees the man, the chains fell. When the chains fell, she's shivering, he's shivering. Don't be afraid. Put on your sandals. Let's do. When they pass every door. It doesn't sound like I'm now now. It's gonna happen. When you pass that office door, HR door, CEO door, when you pass the door that says it will never happen, when you pass the door, when you pass the door, you are not alone. You are with the agent. You are. Pass that door. We are passing that door. Pass that door. You are not alone. The glory of God is with you. Pass it. Let's go. 
Let's go, Augusto. Let's go, Augusto. We are walking with the glory. We are walking with the glory. We are walking with the glory of God. We are walking. They will never see our face. They will see the glory of God. They will never see us anymore. They will see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Today, can I get that talk about you may be seated. Today we mean business. Can I get my crowns? We are not leaving this place. God must speak today. I'm tired of coming to church and nothing is happening in my life. Nothing is happening in my family. I'm tired of coming to church. I'm tired of fasting. I'm tired of everything. I just want to see your glory. Another cross, I want the thorn one. The thorn cross. Not that one, another one. What do you think? There is an exchange that is happening today. This one is a, is a crown of shame. This one is a thorn of humility. Belittling Jesus. I'm going to say something here. This crown is a crown of suffering. If you are suffering, this is the crown. You are not having this. Somebody has this for you. This is the crown of suffering. Do you hear me? Why should I suffer like this? I'm not going to suffer anymore because today I understand that I'm not wearing the crown of suffering because he did. Yes, Lord. You suffered. You suffered. Nothing will put me to shame. It's a, cr it's a crown. Of suffering is a crown of, of the curse. Curse is the man who hangs on the tree. So the curse is not your portion. Curses are not your portion. Because you are not wearing this. Somebody did it for you. Ma, yes, and ma. Maybe you don't understand. Can you please tap? Can you please tap? Just forget about your, how you feel. Just tap and understand Calvary and understand the meaning of the crown of thorns. This is a crown of pain. If you have pain, natural or spiritual pain or physical pain, that's not your portion. You are not wearing the crown of thorn. I'm about to close now. Can I close here? I'm closing? Oh, uh, not now. Please tell the pastor. Talk to the pastor. Uh, 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 Muruti Chapule, can you please uh, hug the man of God and say, be strong, man of God. We, we are not going here without receiving what we came here for. Yeah, we are not leaving this place, man of God, without receiving what God has in store for us. Today is a morning.
in glory. My life must be glorious. I must receive the glory tonight. Oh, this morning, not tonight. It's a bit of a fool. But the Holy Spirit and the glory of God, when it falls upon you, you are no longer yourself. Even if you came smart, when you are speaking about God, you mesmerize the body, cannot take the power and the glory of the God in your life. And your queen, your lady, is showing out. You become yourself, the image of God. And let us make men in our image after our likeness. And they are little gods. And I've crowned them with the glory. This crown is a crown of sickness and disease. He was bitten. Hey, sing at that word as well. This crown is a crown of burning. You know, they. Why don't you get my bondage? When I don't have this, I don't have this. I want this crown to be a picture. When the devil and the enemy come strong against your life and say, I didn't have this, I didn't have the crown. Of thorns. So, we will not be sad. We will not be smooth. From this one, we will not be smooth. And then, we will not be smooth. But, we will not be smooth. 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 Right now. I don't care who cares me. I don't care whether this case is from generation to generation, but he's living my life tonight. Today is living my life. I am not cast. Cast is a man who hangs on the tree. I'm not cast. Tell the devil I'm not cast. I am blessed. <laughs> Is a, a crown of insult. Why do you how rock? I don't. Oscar Peter said, "Say, yeah, ngati na we, good, a good, a good, a good." Satan go melai bon. O wuti I see. It's something else. And eya fat. One good. If everything I said, even the things that I didn't say. Go shei. Utlaze gile gule sa strat. In your family. But who this God? You've been following this God for too long. Look at us. That is wrong. That is why it's wrong for the Christian. How we are How we are How we are He said, For what? When you have the glory. What is the glory when you compare the, the candle and the glory? Can you compare the two? You cannot compare. You buy the candle, but the glory is bought already. We don't buy the glory. We receive the glory. Go and get red candle, green candle, all the colors. I'm telling you, your life will still be like that. You will never change. Because it's not in the candle. It's not in green and purple. It's not in the oil and the water. It's not in the person. It's in the glory. Let the church get this right. That no man can bless you if God doesn't bless you. 
No man can anoint you if God doesn't anoint you. No man can give you glory if God doesn't give you the glory. I want your anointing. Do you know how much is my anointing? I want to catch the anointing. Do you know how I suffered to get this anointing? I taught her. I taught her. I do. You don't take it. You receive it. I'm closing here. Let's go to the next glory. Jesus died. And I said, not that one. Jesus died. The other one, please. Jesus died. And he said, I give you the authority. Pela upula will crown the authority. I have given you authority. I have given you the keys. I will, I'm leaving you with the glory that I walk with when I was on earth. And this is a crown that I give it to you. This is a crown, not just a crown that the models, but it's not a crown. Your, your company, this is not any other crown. This is a crown. When you look at it on top, the crowns are plain because they don't have the glory. That's why they'll give you a plain crown without the glory. But now the crown that you have received when Jesus died in rose is a crown of glory. Now today, I want to introduce the crown that my Lord who died and rose from the dead. I'm introducing to you, reintroducing the crook, true crown that you are going to wear today. And that crown is going to cure every sickness. If there's every sickness in this place, if there's any disease in this place, if there's any spirit in this place that is bound in you, this crown will see this crown of glory that you have, after the Lord has gone to heaven, seated at the right hand of God, he gave you a crown of glory, and this is the crown that you are having. Today, oh, you don't hear me. If I please don't bring that crown, I want the second crown. Come on, yes. Today, you are worrying. Today, maybe you have lost it. Don't despair. It's never too late with God. God, maybe I have lost it. Maybe I've lost my faith in you. Maybe I have lost my faith in you. But today I understand that it's only your glory that will come into my life and change my life. This glory is a crown that we've been walking, Guyana, after the service. The family that you are living with, those people who don't believe in you, when they look at you the first time, but in this time I like you. What's wrong with you? Somebody say, I want to give you money. I want to give you business. I want to give you company. I want to give you this. It's not them. It's the God that is connected to the system of his fingers. He has created everything. And everything must respond to the glory. But even if, but what is important is not just the crown. That is why you have the crown of Miss Sowet. But your crown is not just a crown. It must have the glory.
as I close, as a crown of glory. This is a, it means this is a crown of authority and power. This is a crown of honor. This is a crown of eternal life. Mm. This is a crown of wisdom. This is a crown of righteousness. This is a crown of revelations. You'll never be stupid anymore. Because the crown that you'll be wearing for starting, whatever you how can you fail? Your mind will be twisted like that. And your mind will be in mind of Christ. Whatever you will master it. Whatever you will master it. Hey, I'm talking to you, mother. I'm talking to you, father. You'll be praying for this child. But this child is going down every grade. This is the crown that we are having. Let me close by the last crown. The crown of glory. Can you give me the crown of glory? This is waiting for you in heaven. Now you are walking with the crown of a king, the crown of authority and honor. But there's a big crown that is awaiting you. That is why got your crown starting from today. According to the book of Revelation as I close. I, I, I don't read it. Chapter 4 verse 10. And the 24 elders... The 24 elders, when they go into the presence of God, they take off their crowns. They bow. And they cast down their crown. Because there is crown. That is above every crown. That's why when you worship God, it matters. How you worship him, it matters. If the 24 angels in heaven, the 24 elders and the angels in heaven, they take their glorious, can you put the crown there? They take the glorious crown and put it down. Can you bring back the crown? They put it down. The crown of heaven. The crown of glory. And bow. To God Almighty. So there's one way to come to his presence. You need to take. Your crown. Of honor. And authority. Do you hear me? Your authority. Your honor. Mudimu Haibati in his presence. Your, your education, your crown, who you are, God doesn't need that. God wants you to cast your crown that Jesus gave you. It's no longer about you, but it's about God. Before I close, I'm closing right now. The Lord said to me, there are people in, in that mist, Oyangoyona, that have been trying things but are not happy. Trying this business is, doesn't go anywhere. Trying this family. You've been trying and trying. Some, let me put it the way the Holy Spirit said it to me. Ali, you get things. I told him told it all. They go back. And in told them, they are through this. They look and they go back. Every time you call for this, somebody will take it, will just, you know, have it. And it's yours. And it is a curse 
that is following those people. I want to, to stand up right now. Let's all stand up. And if you, are, you identify with what I said, that I've been struggling. You know, we I'm tired of struggling. I'm tired of this. Life. This is a glorious day. This is a day of the glory. You need to receive the crown that will break every, every storm, every door that is closed. Just come and say, I'm tired. Every time I want to, I, I'm about to get, receive this, it's going away. Every time I'm about to get it, it just slips between my fingers. Every time they call my name, somebody replaces me. I'm telling you, you are taking the crown. That belongs to you. They don't see this crown. Maybe it is lost. But let me tell you today that this crown is coming back full force. Hallelujah! 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 Maybe there's lost some years, but I'm telling you right now that this crown is coming back. God is crowning you. God is crowning you. He's removing the shame. God is removing the sufferings. I'm telling you right now, and I believe God that you'll have a testimony. And the testimony, God will be glorified. Not me be glorified, but God will be glorified. Shame. Suffering. Exchange of your gift. Sabotaged. By people, by demons, by spirit. Is going to leave you, leave your family today in the name of Jesus. And I come, I come against again the spirit of delay, the things that are delaying in your life, the things that the devil is holding in your life. They are received, they are released today by the glory of God. Baba ben kira le tu baba pambil. In connecta na yemina. Same service. Same calling. Yes, it's my father, my apostles, my apostle, but our gift are the same gift. Of say it will happen. Whether the devil likes it or not. It will happen. Whether the team must like it or not. It will happen. It will happen. We are joining our hands with the ambassadors. The vanyel. Abraham and the vanyel but full of the same pumput. We are joining hands with the anointing of the apostle who saw the move of God, the miracle of God, signs and wonders. We are joining hands in the front, in front of this story. And we are saying, God, these are your people. We are just vessels. Touch them in a special way. I want my apostle, my mentor, my father, the evangelist. It's the same spirit, same spirit, same power. That's why I want you to speak a word upon your life. As I kneel down and take out my crown, all of us kneel down, take off your crown. Even those you give, come up, Papa, come and give a song. Can everybody kneel down? Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Satan is legile. We are satan. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God is here. If you believe God, you raise up your spiritual hand and receive what God is going to give you. God is going to give you. You must just receive it. By faith, receive it. Receive it. Receive it by faith. Receive it by faith. Receive it by faith. Receive it by faith. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Baba Wato and Manta Onke. Mosa Taraboko Soto. Yes, a cup. Was a terrible Soto Robo. Get Camilla Manta Camilla Chess. Now Baba Tubaco Gosiam. Now Bandarabaco Pambiquaco. Baba Bosso Fun along Casimulo. Abala Sagan was in Tosabo. Nam Sanja Baba Zitata. Lazidas Lasagileo. Good as Zintas Lasagileo. Good as Zintas Lasagileo. Zatato Nam Sanja. Zatato Nam Sanja. Yes, Jesus. More than Sataraba Satara. Yes, Lord. Bayete. I got my I release the power of God. I release the power of God. I receive. I receive. Receive it. 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 I'm laying hands upon to each and every one. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it now. 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 Yes, yes. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Yes, Jesus. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Jesus. 
Yes, Lord. La 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 pa. In my spirit, I believe right now that you have received something. 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 You have received let you receive something. You have received 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 it. You have received it. You have received it. You have received it. Stand up and worship the Lord. 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 Stand up. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Thank God. What have you received? Thank Him now. Thank Him now. Thank Him now. Thank Him now. What have you received? Thank God for what you receive. Thank God for what you receive. Thank God for what you receive. Kulmangayo 
it's not a fake. Iraq was the last cry, crown. The last crown. Is that something to pass? That crown. When God took me to heaven, I saw it. I saw it. I saw that crown. And that crown, that one, that one. I saw it like this. Sit who We just want to thank you today in this place, mighty God, for your word that has gone forth. May it be as it was said in your word that your word will never come back unto you void. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your vessel that you have used in this place today to proclaim the oracles of God. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the recipients that, oh God, we are overflowing today. Just that have been filled with water up to the brim, even overflowing, causing a mighty river that cannot be crossed. Lord, we just want to thank you for those that have received their breakthrough in this place. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for those that have received their healing. Those of God who have had an open door set before them, a door that no man can close. Those God Almighty, the curse is broken over their lives. God Almighty, people with obstacles removed this morning in this place. We thank you, Jehovah, Lord God Almighty, that those that have been healed by the stripes of Jesus shall go out of this place leaping, oh God, like calves. Jehovah, Lord God Almighty, having received them upon themselves, they were God Almighty, the blessing of God. And we thank you today, Lord God Almighty, that the crown of thorns that was laid on our Lord Jesus will never come onto our heads. For, O oh God Almighty, as your word declared, cursed is everyone who hung on a tree, that the blessings of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles through faith that today in this place we receive the blessing that Jesus suffered on the cross for. 
we receive today is Lord God Almighty. Your word says, Behold the grace of the Lord Jesus, how he was rich, and yet for our sake he was made to be poor, so that we through his poverty might be made to be rich. And we thank you, Lord God Almighty, that the spirit of poverty has bid its farewell in this place, never ever again to show its ugly head in this congregation, that confusion will never ever be heard of ever again in these families. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that you take in this church to the days of the apostles where there was not a single one needy among them, where everyone's need was met. Thank you, Jehovah Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we give you the last praise, O oh God Almighty, today in this place, the greatest shout of praise. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Thank the Lord. You know, we are expecting testimonies. We are expecting testimonies. Grace. 